we've all seen the results of creative or more accurately deceptive editing. Remember that Katie Couric roundtable discussion in her gun documentary? To refresh your memory, or if you didn't hear about this, Katie Couric hosted a group of gun advocates to film them about their opinions surrounding the gun debate. And this was back in 2016. When the documentary was released, you could see that she was asking them questions that many liberals ask when they are ignorant to gun issues, which is most of the time. Questions easily answerable by most 2A folks because we're responsible and tend to know our statistics and facts surrounding guns quite well. But after she asks the question, the camera pans to the faces of those expected to answer, but they just stare blankly, seemingly perplexed by her question. Like if someone asked me about the benefits of yoga and vegetarian lifestyle. Yeah, I would have no answer for that. But these knowledgeable individuals were outraged when the documentary was released because they had, in fact, answered her questions both thoroughly and convincingly. But the clips of the blank faces were drawn from instances where they were simply listening to Katie Couric talk. James O'Keefe obtained copies of the audio where the guests did answer and release them via his website, Project Veritas. We also see instances to a less malevolent degree in reality television. They use the same type editing where they get B and C roll of facial reactions and they just use them however they want in an effort to drive the plot that will keep viewers interested. That doesn't really bother me, but Katie Couric's gun documentary does. I don't use or support deceptive editing ever, but today's story with rapper Killer Mike is not that. There was no selective or deceptive editing. What he said in an NRA TV interview was depicted exactly the way Killer Mike intended, but KM's beef is with the timing. In the interview, he talks about the dangers of liberals' gun agenda with respect to gun control and that aggressive gun laws will progress black Americans into slavery. He also said that he warned his own children against participating in the school walkout on March 14th for gun control and that he told them, I love you, but if you walk out that school, walk out my house. Sounds like some solid tough love and a rejection of the propagandist motives driving the recent displays against our Second Amendment, right? Wrong. When NRA TV released the interview, Killer Mike said that the interview was used a week later by NRA TV to disparage a very noble campaign that I actually support. Uh, so which is it, bruh? You got backlash and now you are saying you do support the movement, but you told your kids you would tan their hide if they participated. He didn't actually say that he would tan their hide. I just imagine what my parents would have said to me at that age if I had gotten some cockamamie idea about skipping school for gun control. He goes on to apologize and grovel and says, I want to say first, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry that an interview I did about a minorities, black people in this country, and gun rights was used as a weapon against you guys. Used as a weapon against them? They are the ones being used. They are being used as props and weapons fighting to strip Americans of our Second Amendment freedoms. I'm done, I, I can't even handle it. You, you are a big old badass rapper. Shouldn't you have more of a spine than this, Killer Mike? Oh wait, we revoked your alpha card after you voted for Bernie Sanders, Never mind. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel. If you enjoyed my commentary and want to hear more from us here at The Rebel, subscribe to our premium content at www.therebel.media forward slash shows and make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter for all of our latest news. Also download our new app for The Rebel Media on the App Store. Download it super fast and easy and you'll have access to all of our latest videos and your favorite Rebel shows. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Amanda Head for The Rebel.